and rising my beautiful friends and happy solstice wherever you may be in this big huge wonderful world of ours that is all just but a speck of sand so i hope you're all doing well our energies are shifting this is great news for many of us um i as an aries have been very sick while jupiter was at that last 29th degree of pisces However, now that it has moved into Aries, it's at that zero degree of Aries. I am feeling so full of energy, I can't even express it. However, my little Pus <laughs> Pisces moon, Pisces rising, is oh so sick now. We trade it off. Say hi, Cora. Hi. She wishes y'all a happy holiday. At least I think she does. Do you? Yeah, of course I do. Okay, of course she does. Well, still in good spirits, and that's what counts. So, what do I mean by the energy shifting? Well, we've had some really tense energies, energies that feel like everything is just gonna fall apart, not work out, and doomsday is on its way. However, these energies that are coming in are fresh, they're new, they're something we haven't experienced. They're a whole new game, a whole new show, a whole new energy, truly. Um, for Christmas, excuse me, the holidays, for the holidays, for whatever you may or may not celebrate, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of these little miracles. I feel like it's gonna be the spirit that is there. Things might not be as they have been every other year, but I feel more than ever, that spirit is gonna be there and it's really gonna bring us together, that that heart, that, that caring, kind, um, considerate and loving energy. I think is going to be in abundance. Um, the astrology doesn't look the best. We've got Ceres um, squaring off with the sun, I believe. Um, don't quote me on that. But um, I still believe that the energies are going to be beautiful. I, I really do. I don't think that um, there will be disagreements how there have been the past years. I don't feel that there will be, you know, the arguments. I feel like people will definitely be more on the same page and that these holidays are gonna bring us together and remind us that we all have that common ground to share. So we'll see on that. So let's pull a few cards cause I'm not quite sure what to say next. <laughs> let's go ahead and pull from my animal deck and we'll get some overall energies and just kind of see where spirit is sitting on all this. I hope you're all doing wonderful and well. Forgive me for not posting last week. That last degree of Pisces, man. Whew. That was a trip. Oh, the dreams and fantasies and just the off in wonderland. You know, so many of us have... <laughs> It's where our wildest conspiracies come from. Um, I'm all about the AI. It's so much further than anybody realizes. You know, computer viruses that nobody can detect. All sorts of weird stuff. But hey, we'll see where that goes. Um, I'm going to pull together some predictions for the next, this coming year. Um, and just kind of tap into the energies, kind of see if I can help give everybody a heads up on certain things. Um, I think we're really gonna look forward to March. Um, I've had this December 23rd in my head nonstop. Uh, we'll see what happens, but it feels like there's gonna be a big boom <laughs> here on our new moon. <laughs> so we'll see. I did have a card fly out, cow, spirit. The miracles are endless. Now, I was talking and ranting, but this, they truly are. The miracles are coming in abundance this year. All right, spirit, guardian angels, spirit guides, higher selves. Is there anything that we need to be aware of? Ooh, got my hair. <laughs> Alrighty, what are we going to do here? Now, I, uh, a lot of people shuffle different, you know, there's, everybody has their way. Personally, when I have a card fly out, it is just meant to be. Why? There's a reason, okay? Normally I wouldn't say that. There's a reason. I've got epilepsy, so I twitch all the time. I, I have seizures. And so 
that's left my nerves a little rattled. So I twitch every once in a while. And I figure if that twitch happens to the point that I throw a card out, we're good, isn't it? <laughs> Everything is as it's meant to be. And we need to start realizing that. Everybody's always chasing that moment, chasing that happiness. And honestly, the happiness is all around us. We're living in, in our happiness. We really are. We just need to see it. All right, we've got Rhino Spirit. Overcome any obstacle. Okay, you've got to know that you've got these tools. We've been going over, rattling ourselves crazy, driving ourselves up walls, wondering, like, what reality are we in? Am I talking Looney Tunes, you know? Going through all these tools, learning these tools, learning more about ourselves, diving deep. Look over your past. You've overcome it all. Anything you thought you couldn't overcome, you've overcome because you're here. So revel in it. <laughs> Just, we get knocked over, we get back up. <laughs> um, you know, I was listening. Who was it? Um, I believe it was Deep Astrology uh, with the Leo King on High Vibe um, TV. And I would totally recommend it. It really is. It's wonderful. Uh, you learn lots. But they had mentioned, you know, that um, we are, look back, look back a couple years. Look back, I don't know, let's say four years, okay? Let's say four or five years, look back. And think about the things you wanted in your life. They're here. You've got them. They're here. You know, we forget. We start realizing that we can manifest and we can bring these things into our life. So our goals start getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then we start ignoring and not realizing that the things that we've been wanting all along are already in our lives. They've already shown themselves. Now, whether we've acknowledged it or not is a different story. You know, uh, uh, the more you grow, the more you want to expand, the more you want to get into, um, the bigger your aspirations and dreams come become right so don't forget where you started out go back to the beginning and then review it all like what have you gotten that you wanted all along but you walked right past these are those doors and jupiter will bring that expansion right and and so it is it's bringing these new beginnings um we're right there at aries and how cool it landed <laughs> Like, all within this time frame, we've got so much going on, so many new beginnings. We've got, you know, Jupiter coming into Aries as the zero degree mark, which is all about that expansion and stuff. And we're in this new beginning. We're in Aries again. Um, and we've got this new moon coming on the 23rd, which is all about planting those seeds, you know. Put, what do you want to see harvest in the full moon? What do you want to see come about? You know, and we've got the winter solstice, which is... It's, a, it's the darkest and lightest, depending on where you're at, you know? And so from here on out, where I'm at, it's just going to get lighter and lighter. We're going to bring that light back in, you know? And the way I see this is that it's a wave. You know, we all have our place, our moment, and our time to help that wave of light travel, you know? So if you're feeling down, don't worry. That ripple is coming back around, you know? So when we're just creating bigger and bigger bursts of light, it's amazing. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. Right? So we can overcome any obstacle. Keep that in mind. Yes, daughter? <laughs> we have Koala Spirit. Spirit has a plan. Like I said, Spirit has a plan. Yes, daughter. We've got, excuse me for it being backwards. Do you want to pull a card? Okay. She wants to pull a card. What, the animal deck? Okay, go ahead. This is her favorite deck. Um, she absolutely loves Whoa. to do the cards with me. She loves wolves, yes. Yeah. What card did you get? A uh, turtle spirit. 
Turtle spirit? What does it say? Slow and steady wins the race. What does that mean? Uh, be confident. Be confident? Yeah. Patient? Yeah. Because we're slow and we're steady. So we're going, we're going at it. We're taking a steady pace. So it's slow and steady wins the race. And oh, it's been slow. It hasn't felt so steady. So I believe that's what it is, though. Those energies really are about... We're going to be moving forward over these next few months. We've learned a lot. We're coming into better energies so that I believe that over the next few months, you know, don't, don't just go cover your ears. Okay. Just don't go balls to the wall, you know, like don't go full on not thinking, just going for it. Okay. Cause we, forget. we just want to go slow and steady. We learn something. Give yourself that time to take it in. You down, you get those downloads. Give yourself time to take it in and then apply it. Take it in, apply it. Learn it, take it in, apply it. Learn it, take it in, apply it. And that's what we're going for. Slow and steady is going to win the race. Would you like to pull another one? Okay. Poor little thing, she's so sick. Well, I'll send you good energy. <laughs> that's okay. I got all those home remedies. She'll be fine in no time. So, okay, what's the what's card? Wombat spirit. Wombat spirit. Go ahead. Be at home. Be at home. Well, it is the holidays, right? Yeah. So it's a good time. What does that mean to you? Uh, family. Say that again? Family. Family. It's all about that family. All right. Wonderful. Is she a card? Wombat spirit. There we go. So, there you have it. Um, with miracles in abundance, right? Let's what is it? Overcome any obstacles. She loves this. Wombat spirit, be at home. Oh, we got him out of order. <laughs> Koala spirit, spirit has a plan. And slow and steady wins the race. So, all in all, no, I mean, it really is, like I said, it's those energies of being at home and, and family and what you consider to be family, you know, and being comfortable. And even if you're spending it all alone with your cat or dog or wombat or koala, it's family, right? I know we have several animals here that we um, take in animals. We've rescued animals for some time now, and we've got quite the crew here. And they're family to us. They're family. That's family. So whatever family is to you, cherish it. Love it. Look for those miracles. They're, they're in abundance. That spirit is strong. You know? Slow and steady. Learn it. Take it in. Apply it. And I'll see you soon. Enjoy your holidays. We love you so much. Happy solstice. Much love.